Franken sets date for Senate departure. Nearly two weeks announcing his resignation from Senate amid allegations of sexual misconduct from seven different women, Democrat Senator Al Franken has set a date for his departure from Congress. According to Fox News, Franken's last day is set to be on January 2, with staffers in his office indicating that the Minnesota Democrat will be promptly replaced by Lt. Gov. Tina Smith, who will be sworn in the following day. A spokesman for the senator later confirmed that January 2 would indeed be his final day representing Minnesota in the upper chamber. The official resignation date comes nearly a month after Franken announced on December 7 that he would resign in the midst of the allegations. Before that announcement, however, the disgraced senator had merely apologized, stating that he would wanted the Senate to launch an ethics investigation into his behavior, and that he would cooperate fully. I've been trying to take responsibility by apologizing, Franken said last month, as reported by NPR. I'm going to be accountable. However, there was a tipping point, Fox News suggested, that forced Franken to go from merely apologizing and standing back to resigning completely. That tipping point was the seventh woman who came forward on December 6, accusing the two-term senator of forcibly trying to kiss her back in 2006. It was an accusation that caused multiple female Democrat senators like Kamala Harris of California and Kirsten Gillibrand of New York to call for Franken's resignation. Yet, even in his speech saying he would resign, Franken couldn't help but attempt to defend himself. I was shocked, I was upset, Franken said in an address on the Senate floor. But in responding to their claims, I also wanted to be respectful for that border conversation because all women deserve to be heard and their experiences taken seriously," he added. In the speech, Franken noted the ethics investigation while also adding that his departure from the Senate was ironic due to the accusations of sexual misconduct against President Donald Trump. Franken went on to claim that Trump was a man who has bragged on tape about his history of sexual assault, but who still sits in the Oval Office. Trump has denied all allegations just as Franken has dodged many of the accusations against himself. Some of the allegations against me are simply not true, Franken said in his speech. Others, I remember very differently. After the speech, Franken had only a few words to give when stating his post-resignation plans, simply saying, I'll be coming home. Home.